All right, I'm I'm rolling. Wesley, whenever you're ready. All right. All right, we got a little demonstration of what we're doing at the vineyard. Um, we're doing the, the pruning from last year's growth. In this case, it's like three years worth of growth. Um, at the very bottom of the plant, we're starting by getting rid of all the suckers. Um, the lower they are on the vine, the first access to the nutrients they have. So they'll steal all of that energy potential that's coming through the head and into what we hope next year will be our fruit. So Cole's getting rid of that. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is take last year's caning arms uh, and get rid of those. Uh, and then once we do that, we've gone through and kind of already have an idea for what we're gonna lay down um, and tie down for this next upcoming year. Uh, but then one of the important things is figuring out um, what our regrowth spurs are gonna be. So on this guy, there, we don't have a lot to choose from. So probably gonna pull off here. I already cut that one. And then we're gonna have to leave one of these little guys. I want this one. Uh, yeah, okay. So we have one that's kind of hidden back below, but this vine is coming into the row. So it's not a huge problem uh, that our regrowth spur is headed back into the next row. We'll be able to train it back up into the trellis. It's a good thing Cole has such big muscles. Damn. <laughs> All right. So this is a really good example of a vine that hasn't been touched in two, probably three years. Um, also dealing with some probably nutrient deficiency at this point. Uh, this is a sprightly fella. So with this guy, I think we're probably not going to get more than one cane arm, one fruiting arm. Probably lay this guy down if he won't crack. Um, and then the rest, we'll probably just go with two spurs. So I'm gonna go regrowth spur and regrowth spur. But with as old as they are, you can tell the buds are super far apart. And we'll just get rid of some of this old growth. Um, this is a part of being an amateur farmer that's shitty because with this, I don't have anyone to ask right now whether or not if I trim off the small growth, if I can trellis this and maybe get one or two vertical shoots. We um, really need to spend like a day out here or a week with somebody like right next to us. Right. Because there isn't knows like new bud growth on here. We haven't hit bud break yet. The beautiful thing about it, learning like this is just like, I've learned, like I find myself coming out here just trimming so much quicker, you know? Like, oh yeah. Because you, you have to just think through the most logical solution. So there's a possibility, but we and also might cases, come back out and just knock this off and have two regrowth spurs. Yep. Yeah.